you might have seen this before. Let me take it and hit it on the hard rubber block. It makes a sound. This is called tuning fork. These are called tongs of the fork. When we hit the tuning fork very hard, the tongs vibrate. As tong vibrates, air surrounding it also vibrates. We can barely see the tongs vibrating. We will dip tongs in water immediately after we hit it. When we dip the vibrating fork in the water, water splashes out. It creates a wave in the water. Have you seen a wave before? You must have thrown a stone in the water to create a wave. But how can we describe wave? Do waves have different shapes? We need to define some parameters to describe and measure wave. There are five parameters which are characteristics of the wave. They are period, frequency, amplitude, wavelength and speed. We will look at these one by one. As you know, tongue of the fork vibrates. This is the oscillatory motion. This motion moves the air particles around it. These air particles move to and fro. Energy due to vibration is transported through air without transporting air particles. If you plot movement of all air particles due to fork, it looks like a wave. Let me create a simple wave in the water by dropping this small ball. Dropping of ball caused energy transfer which resulted in a wave. Dropping ball just once created a pulse of wave in the water. Instead of ball, we will take this water bottle and punch two holes. Water drops fall through the thread attached to the cap. Drops fall at regular intervals creating a wave. By changing the size of opening, I can increase or decrease the rate at which drops fall. We will use FET simulation to visualize this. I can start the water flow by clicking this tab. I am looking at water from the top side. I can see a very familiar wave pattern. How it will look from the side view? Let me click here. We will use the simulation to understand the properties of waves. This is a water tank. Blue part is water. This is a tap. We will slowly let one drop of water in the tank. We know that it is the energy which gets transferred, not the particles of water. We will use this meter to graph the movement of a single particle in water at this point. If I create just one pulse, the energy will be transferred like this. We can see the upward and downward movement of a single water particle at this point. Particle goes down, returns back to its original position, then goes up and then returns to its original position again. This is one complete cycle. We will plot time on this axis. We will plot distance particle has moved from its original position on this axis. The time it takes for one water molecule to move up, move down and then return to its original position is called the period. It is measured in seconds. It is denoted with symbol capital T. This is the time it takes for one cycle. But how many such cycles particle complete in one second? In other words, we want to know how frequent this wave cycle is happening at a given point. This is known as the frequency of the wave. Frequency of the wave is the number of cycles that are completed in a certain amount of time. The symbol for frequency is the lowercase f. We measure it in cycles per second, which is the same as the unit hertz. A wave with a frequency of 40 hertz completes 40 wave cycles every second. Period should not be confused with frequency. Period is measured in seconds for one cycle. Frequency 
is measured in number of cycles per second. If period of wave is 2 seconds, it completes one cycle in 2 seconds. Its frequency is one half. Period and frequency are related. They are reciprocals of each other. This can be represented by an equation frequency f is equal to 1 upon period t that is f is equal to 1 by t. Greater the period of the wave, less wave cycles will be possible in one second. Waves with large frequencies will fit more wave cycles in a second. Their period will be less. We can say that period and frequency are inversely proportional to each other. We can see how period changes with frequency. At this frequency, it takes longer time to complete one cycle. If I increase the frequency, it takes less time to complete the cycle. Summary We discussed about important characteristics of wave. The time it takes for one particle to move up, move down and then return to its original position is called the period. It is measured in seconds. It is denoted with the symbol capital T. Frequency of the wave is the number of cycles that are completed in a certain amount of time.